Lucky this and un Oh, you came back to have a date with me, Giggity. You must be really serious about this, Giggity You. I'll take you someplace really special, Giggity. A place I like to spend all my time. So we're going, uh, the Groby to the Libruby? <laughs> I said Libruby. <laughs> wait, wait, uh, where are you going? Uh, what? Um, my. What? Quagmire? My house! <sighs> Quagmire. Alright, Quaggy, are we gonna do it or what? Welcome to my scenic house, Giggity Goo. Enjoy and take your time. Okay, okay, I see. Uh, hey, Quagmire, what's this rock over here? This is Joe's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I take responsibility. And the rock is covered in sprinkles. And what is this sock doing on the floor? Oh, this is disgusting! Joe, please pick up your socks. <laughs> okay. And don't put it back down. Move it! <laughs> okay. You moved it two inches, Giggity! <laughs> okay. And don't bring it back! <laughs> okay. It's still here! Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room, bro? Ah, f it! And f you, Joe! Yeah, you'd like to, you big gay. What's this? Aw, oh, sweet! I found 20 bucks in your couch! Hey, so I guess Sans and Neon Jigglypuff have something in common. They both like sharks. <laughs> okay, so what the hell was that supposed to mean? Okay, okay, No, Peter, down. listen to me. Okay, I don't care what- I don't it's care what a joke! Oh, no, Peter, on. listen to me. I don't hey, care if it's a joke. I don't care if it's a joke or not. No, Peter, shut up and listen to me. I don't care if it's a joke or not. I'm sorry. Joke about stuff like that. Why would you even say something like that? Well, how are you getting so offended by- I'm sorry. Whoa, whoa, hold on. No, I'm just getting mocked about this shit. I don't like it. It's just a joke. Just lighten up a little bit, you bastard. Lighten up, you freaking idiot. Okay. I'm always mocked about this okay, shit, no, and I'm done. I'm, I'm done. What? I'm not, I'm not doing, fuck under, guy. Oh. Fuck everything, I'm done with this oh. shit. I'm, I'm gone, I'm done. It's not my fault, you toe-sucking bastard. Jesus Christ, now that was an ordeal. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. Oh boy, I am here to steal more bones. What? Huh? Oh Catch no, that I must run away canine. right now. Good boy. Curses! I hate Brian! Joe! Stop plaguing my life with incidental music! I love you guys so much. What you got on TV? better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. Was that Joe? And he was walking? All right. What's this big ass bone on the wall? A classic image, diggity. It always reminds me of what's most important in life. Well, you are right. Uh, boners are important. Let's see Joe's room. And it's locked. Okay. You know what, Quagmire? It's time for the big sick. That's my room, diggity. If you finish looking around, we can go in and... Do whatever people do when they date. Eekity. Hell yeah, Big Fog Epic Style. <laughs> hey, those are all the attacks I used on you, Giggity. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it was basically last episode. Aw, oh, come on, Quagmire, you're breaking the fourth wall. The third and fifth, even. <laughs> now that's my bet. If I ever get to the surface, I have to drive it down a long highway if you guess my drift. <laughs> giggity, giggity, giggity. Wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's all just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze, giggity. <sighs> yeah, something tells me that snort was not intentional. Ah, yes, my action figures. A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. <laughs> How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from... A chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Mario! Hello, door. Reminds me of a series that's like three months overdue that Neon Chili Puff hasn't done yet. Uh, wonder where that's at. Now that book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. And the next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with a fluffy bunny, giggity. The ending always gets me, giggity googity. Okay, and watch this. Isn't that flag neato? Make found it by the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. Giggity giggity!
Hey, Quagmire, that's no theory. I used to be a skeleton too, you know. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start that day, Giggity Goo? Hell yeah, epic style big day. Okay, dating starts. What the hell? Uh, here we are, on our date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry. You can't spell prepare without several letters of my name. Your name's Quagmire. I snagged an official dating book from the library. Now we're ready to have a good time, giggity giggity goo. So the first step, you beat her. You're gonna have to press the X button on your controller. What the hell is all this shit? Wowee, I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. I think I'm ready for number two. <laughs> step two, ask him on a date. Giggity. Ahem. Peter, I, the great Quagmire, will go on a date with you. Epic, yeah. R really? Wowee. I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three. Put on some clothes and show that you care, Giggity. Wait a moment. Wear clothing? That bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now! Not only that... Earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You wanted me from the very beginning? Uh, uh, yeah, sure. Uh, I'm the big gay. No, you planned it all. You're way better at dating than I am. No, your dating power! Guys, I need to let you know that doing Quagmire's voice really freaking hurts, and that cough was real. Oh my god. Giggity! Giggity goo! Don't think you can fug me just yet, Giggity! I, the Great Quagmire, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will, Giggity! I can easily keep up with you! You see, I too can wear clothing! In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. Now why the hell would you do that? Just in case someone happens to ask me on a date. Behold! Heh, <laughs> Giggity! What do you think of my secret style? I love it. I hate it. No! A genuine compliment! However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further. Until you find my secret, Giggity. But that won't happen! Oh yeah? Well how about your sneaker? The souls of beaters are stronger than monster souls, but the souls of our shoes, on the other hand, are about the same. Okay, no help there. How about your PP? There's no secret to my PP. Just hard work to giggity my googity. Hmm. What about your shirt? It sure didn't originally say cool on it. I improved it. Expert tips. All clothing articles can be improved this way. <laughs> I see. I see. You like caressing my biceps with a floating heart. <laughs> But who doesn't? Oh yeah? How about that hat? My hat? My hat? My hat! Well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Do you know what this is? Spaghetti. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right. But oh so wrong. This ain't any plain old pasta! This is an artisan's work! Silken spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cast, then cooked by me, Master Chef Quagmire! Peter, it's time to end this! There's no way you can go any further! What a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking! And by extension, maybe even more than I do. Ah! <laughs> no! 
Peter, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me, Giggity. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Peter, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings, Giggity. It's time that I told you, I, Quagmire. Giggity. Boy, is it hot in here, or is it just me, Giggity? Uh, oh, shoot. Peter, I... I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion with me, Giggity. But alas, I, the Great Quagmire, have failed. Wait, so I did all this just to not get the big fat gay? That was totally not epic of you, goddammit. I feel just the same as before. And instead of dating you, I've only drawn you deeper. Into your intense love for me, Giggity. A dark prison of passion, no escape. How could I have done this to my dear beater? Oh, you call me a dear beater? No, wait, that's wrong! I can't feel at anything, Giggity. Beater, I'll help you through these hard times. I'll keep being your epic friend. And act like none of this ever happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship, Giggity. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday, you'll find someone as epic as me, Giggity. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. Oh, if you never need me, here's my phone number. Call me anytime. Platonically, of course. Gotta go. Giggity giggity goo. But, but, fine. You know what, girl? I don't even need you anymore. You know what? I'm going to waterfall now, girl. <laughs> Whoa, this place looks pretty cool, actually. It's really epic. And, and look, the icebergs from last time. I, I guess this is where they're going. Okay. I like this place. It's very... <gasps> Sands! Oh my god, it's been so long, buddy! How you been? I know you were locked in your room, but hey, come on, talk to me! Actually, it's Joe. And haven't you seen anyone work with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means two legally required breaks. I'm going to Grillby's. You wanna come? Yeah. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work, Peter, bruv. Where you going? It's that way. Over here. I know a shortcut, bruv. Uh, okay, if you say so. Fast shortcut, eh, Peter, bruv? Yeah, how the hell'd you do that? Especially when you don't have any legs. I mean, we only just left and we're already here. How's it going, okay. bruvs? Cut me off, why don't you? Hello, Joe. Hi, Joe. Greetings, Joe. Hiya, Joey. Hey, Joe. Weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? No, nah, bruv. I haven't had breakfast in at least an hour and a half. You must be thinking of brunch. <laughs> Whoops! Watch where you sit down, Peter, bruv. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. Yeah, sorry, that wasn't a whoopee cushion, uh... I farted. Anyway, let's order, bruv. What do you want? Fries or burger? Uh, I'll get the fries, uh... Actually, I want the burger. You're gonna get the fries, too, because I don't want to be the only one eating them, because I feel like a big fatty. Hey, that sounds pretty good, Peter, bruv. Hey, Grilby. Give us a double order of Berg. Sure thing! Anything for you, Joe! So, what do you think of my brother? Oh, I think he's a big gay. Of course he's cool, Peter, bruv. You'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. See, I'm surprised he didn't take his clothes off earlier when he was in his room. <laughs> oh, well, at least he washes it. And by that, I mean he wears it in the shower, bruv. Yeah, that's... that's kind of TMI right there. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup, Peter, bruv? Yeah, no thanks. More for me. <laughs> uh, what the hell did you just do? 
Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree, the virus really tries hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard, and begged her to let him in. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there, Peter Bruv. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him a warrior training, Peter Bruv. It's, uh, still a work in progress. Yeah, no offense, but he seems kind of, uh, kind of nice to be part of the Royal Guard, you know what I mean? Oh yeah. I wanted to ask you something, Peter Bruv. Uh, sure, what's on your mind, Joe? Whoa. Have you ever heard of a talking flower, Peter Bruv? Uh... Howdy! I'm Stewie. Stewie the flower. Yeah? So you know all about it, then. What do you mean? The Echo Flower. Oh. Uh... Yeah. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, they'll repeat it over and over, Peter Bruv. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. What'd he say? Sometimes when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay, Peter Bruv? Thanks. Uh, I, I didn't say I would, but, uh, yeah, okay, sure. Well, that was a long break. We were literally only talking for, like, five minutes. Not even five minutes, like, less than, like, probably about two minutes? That wasn't even a break at all, like, that's actually illegal. Who's your supervisor? I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long, Peter Bruv. You bastard. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just 10,000 G. No! Just kidding, bruv. Grillby, put it on my tab, Peter Bruv. Did you just call Grillby Peter... what the hell? By the way, I was gonna say something, but I forgot. Thanks, Joe! Hey, what's this sign say? This is a box. You, you can put items in it, take items out. Why would you, though? You can't use items when they're in the box. Sincerely, I'm a box hater. Why would you hate boxes for, you racist? Uh, this isn't... This doesn't look really safe. Ah, oh, shut up! Oh. Okay, hey, hey, look, a flower. I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. Uh, oh, uh, okay. Behind the rushing water, you say, huh? Let's go see what's behind there, why don't we? It's really quiet here. Why is... This, does nobody live here? Uh, huh? There's an old tutu laying on the ground here. Uh, I, I guess I can take it. Maybe I can make myself look beautiful. <laughs> Alright, let's put it on. And surprisingly, it's a perfect fit. Wow, okay. Doesn't change my character, though. I'm visibly the same thing. I'm wearing this striped shirt. I'm like a nest rip up. Oh, it's really dark in here. And... Hi, Meg. I'm here at the Daily Report. Uh, regarding that beater I called you about earlier... Huh? Did I fight them? Yes, of course I did! I fought them valiantly! What? Did I capture them? W well no. I tried very hard, Meg, but in the end, I failed. What? You're gonna take the beater's soul yourself? But Meg! You don't have to destroy them, you, you see... You see... Mm. I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Holy shit. I don't think I'm in Snowden anymore. Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That... 
That was awesome! She tried to freaking kill me, you idiot! I'm so jealous. What'd you do to get her attention? Haha! <laughs> Come on. Let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. Alright, Peter. No matter what happens to you, you have to stay determined. 